FlexPro peristaltic metering pump features four input signal capabilities for external control. In this video, we will be reviewing the 4 to 20 milliamp input mode setup and function. Press and release select run mode to change input option. Press and hold select run mode once 4 to 20 milliamp input is displayed at the top left corner of the screen. Upon entering the mode, use the up and down arrows to adjust the minimum and maximum values of the milliamp signal and percentage of motor speed. Press enter to save changes. Continue the process until all four screens have been configured. The pump's output speed adjusts automatically based on the value of the 4 to 20 milliamp signal. In this example, 4 milliamps will result in an output of 20% and 16 milliamps will result in an output of 70%. A linear pump output slope will be created. If the pump receives more than 16 milliamps, the output will remain at 70%. Alternatively, the pump can be configured by pressing the menu button, then selecting input setup, input modes, and then 4 to 20 milliamp input. At this point, execute the same as the previous method. To exit, select escape at the bottom of every screen menu until you see the run mode screen displayed. Here is an overview of the required tools and parts. To connect the 4 to 20 milliamp cable to the A3 FlexPro pump, first remove power to the pump. Remove the liquid tight seal from the junction box enclosure with the flathead screwdriver. Next, Remove the four screws with the provided Allen key. Unplug the power from the terminal board. Install the liquid tight connector seal. This is provided in the shipping kit with every FlexPro pump. Now run the 4 to 20 milliamp cable through the connector. Press the 4 to 20 milliamp cable connector into the T1 terminal block. Also reinstall power to the terminal board. Reinstall the junction box to the pump. Finally, tighten the liquid tight connectors. After the pump has been configured for the 4 to 20 milliamp signal and the 4 to 20 milliamp wires connected to the terminal board, we can use a 4 to 20 milliamp signal generator to test the pump. Here, a fluke device is being connected to the 4 to 20 milliamp cables. Apply power to the pump and the fluke device. Press the start button on the pump and activate the fluke meter. Notice how the pump operates in relation to the output signal from the 4 to 20 milliamp generator. 
the pump is operating correctly.